Hello, and welcome to Mac 7, tutorial number 5. Messages. What are they good for? When last we looked at our patcher way back in tutorial 4, uh, 3459 counts of 10 ago, we um, hooked together a bunch of objects uh, to make this counter, this metronome here, count at different speeds. Here it is banging out its count. The counter is going from 1 to 10. There it is, 1 to 10. And it's done it 3,470 times since the last time I looked at it. Um, today, um, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about messages and what they can do to make our little patcher um, more useful, more functional, maybe even more glamorous. So let's just get started. What can you do with a message? Well, let's uh, whoops, unlock our patcher, that's command E, and I'll use this comment box to remind us we can save a patcher's state. So what do I mean by that? When we shut this off and close it for the night, um, and turn it back on, as you may recall in the last video. Actually, there's always the best way to do it is to just do it. So I saved my patcher. You should save your patcher. Um, we're, I'm now at 05 tutorial messages. Um, save your patcher, and we'll just close it, and then we'll just open it again and take a look at it. So, whoops. 05 tutorial messages there it is okay not as nicely zoomed by the way it's nice that you can zoom within the Mac's window um, by simply hitting command plus on a Mac that's probably control plus on a PC and then just kind of move it around so you can actually see your objects it's kind of hard to see Ooh, how exciting and wiggly okay I also like to have my inspector window open there it is. Okay, so you'll notice that save a patcher's state was saved, the message message was saved, but this number over here, zero, was not zero when we left, and some of you might recall that there were 3,400 counts of 10 the last time we opened this. So this has all been lost since we were last here, and the toggle has turned off and is no longer counting. So if we want to save that number, how fast this is counting, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then there's a way to do it using a message, and we'll address that right now. So let's unlock the patcher and drag our message over here. And if you remember, messages, um, if you send something into the right inlet, which is what we're going to do here, so connect the outlet of the number box to the inlet, the right-hand inlet of the message, then whatever we send out here will become the message. It won't be output, but it'll just become the message. So here we go. We're going to lock the patcher and move our slider up to 243. Seems like a nice number. Now our message is 243. If we shut the machine off now and turn it back on, oh, let's save it and do it. File, open recent, tutorial, messages, there it is. And I'm going to zoom in again, command plus. Okay, so 243 stayed, zero got lost. So using another object here called load bang, let's type the letter N and then load, that means when the patcher opens and then you can see it sort of auto filling there and putting the bang in for you load bang what load bang does is it sends out one bang when the patcher opens and that one bang is going to come out here and it's going to trigger this number and this number is going to come out of here and go around this nice 
segmented patch cord up to the top of the slider and in. So when this opens, it'll hit 243, 243 will fly around here, it'll go into the slider and out will come, yes, you guessed it, 244. There's an odd reason for that. You may recall in the last tutorial, we changed the range of this so that it wouldn't, so the slider wouldn't go down to zero, which in effect adds one to it. We could compensate for that or just say 244 will be close enough. Um, so now with the load bang in place, the 243 here, it'll send the message around. So let's save the whole thing close it and open it again and see what happens. Whoops. There we go. Boom. Okay. Whoop. I'll zoom in again. Okay. So the load bang when it opened hit this which was 243, sent this around, moved the slider up, the slider output the 244 and the metronome is now running well at 244 but it's not outputting anything. So now it is counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, much faster than half a second. That is four times a second almost. So that's one thing that you can do with the message. Um, just for those who really like to be exact, the way that you could offset this, and I guess we'll just do it, is by putting in another new object. Type N for new object. Go ahead and uh, type the minus sign, um, which is the same as a hyphen, space, one. And then click outside. And now you have a minus one object. And we can click on this patch cord, go get that green ball, drag it down to there. Nice, and now all we have to do is connect the 244 to the 1. And now, when our patch opens and closes, it will not count upwards slowly, but it will stay perfectly at 244 from now till eternity. So that's one thing that you can do with um, messages. One of the other things that you can do with a message is to change the nature of what things are doing. Now, in a way, actually in the last tutorial, we had sent the metronome uh, a 250 and a 2000 to change its speed. Let's look at the counter today. Um, if you take your mouse, and now I am gonna zoom just to get really the, the mouse very large. If you hover your mouse around these inlets, there's a little informative pop-up window there. This one says counter, integer, bang are counted, set sets counter value. And then this one says counter, set direction, zero equals up, one equals down, two equals up and then down. It just goes back and forth. Okay, so these informative things tell you what kind of messages you want to send in here that could be useful to you. So this one says resets counter to number on next clock. The next time a bang's hit, it will reset to whatever number you set in there. This one resets counter to number immediately the second you hit this. And this one says counter sets count maximum. Fantastic. So if we decided that we wanted to count backwards instead of forward, we can um, type a message and type the number one in it. Well, I guess I better, uh, well, it's okay. We can do these one at a time, right? Here, I'll make a little space. Okay, outlet of the one goes to this inlet, set direction, and now I'm going to
just duplicate this by option clicking on it. You could, of course, just type the letter M. And actually, I'll duplicate it twice. And in this one, I'll make it a 2. Whoops, didn't get it. There's a 2. And there is a 0. And we'll connect them all to the same inlet. So now we have our optional equipment working here. OK, so it's counting upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, I'm going to turn this up, meaning slower, so that we can see it a little more clearly. Counting upward. And now I'm going to press the number 1. And we see it counting downward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. For those of you uh, about to, uh, uh, you know, timing your eggs or whatever. Max is very good for making egg timers. And this one, counting up and down. Let's watch it go there. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How useful is that? Okay, so there's another use of messages. I'm going to unlock my patcher again and make a new comment and say um, changing arguments for objects. All right. They can also <clears throat> uh, be used to um, effect events. For example, let's uh, mouse down here again. We know that every time this thing it does a carry count, this is going to put out uh, 129, uh, then 130. Um, so each time it does that, uh, let's assume that we only wanted to do this once. So we could put a um, uh, button object down here. Type letter B. There it is. And so now every time this carries bang. This bang is going to go all the way around here. All the way up to our toggle. And as you can see, it's actually already shut it off. I'm going to lock my patcher, and I'm going to start my metronome counting. And we can see that it shuts itself off as soon as it gets to the next carry. And we'll just do it again. There we go. 7 is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, bang, and it goes. It's a little confusing with the up and down count. Let's just count upward. We click 0. There, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, bang, and it shuts off. Fabulous. But now, what if we want, you notice this is still 141 here. Well, what kind of dumb counter is that that's just going to, the next time I start it, well, I guess if you wanted to count how many times somebody clicks this uh, button here, it's now been clicked 142 times. Mm. But what if you just wanted to count uh, to zero? Let's, um, I, I mean, count and then reset each time you do it, right? So we could go over here and look at this. Whoops, forgot to unlock my patcher. Command E. Resets counter to number on next clock. OK. So we can make another message that says 0. And 
run that one all the way over there. And run this from the bottom of the bang around to the top of the message. And lock our patcher. And now let's see what happens. We hit it. Bang, 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 bang. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It goes bang. It stops. This is this is at zero. And this is at 143. Let's see what happens when we start it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. So the, that is now the first time it's carried since being reset. So that's important. So that, that now this is, you know, to get back up to 143, you would have to let it run, actually disconnect this so it doesn't keep shutting it off. Um, and um, uh, disconnect this one so it stops resetting to zero. But with the reset to zero, then, or you could just, um, hey, let's uh, keep making messages here. Instead of having it do automatically, we'll just get rid of that patch cable by selecting it and then hitting delete. And we're going to move this message over here so we can look at it more conveniently. And we're going to type another message that says reset. The message reset doesn't actually do anything, but it reminds me why it's here. Okay, so reset is just going to put out a message that says reset, but I'm going to have it run in the left hand side of this button, and so it will work as a bang. So if I want to reset this, I can hit reset. So now we watch our counter go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's do it again. I'm trying to get a carry count here. There, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three. Okay, now we'll hit reset, boink, and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it goes back to one. So it's started over again. So we've reset our counter. And finally, um, we can change the maximum number that it can count up to. And, uh, and uh, if you need it to count up to something higher. So Posing that you're that you are cooking eggs, uh, what does that need to be a two-minute timer? Um, then that would be blah, 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 blah. let's just say 120. What am I? Where am I? Where am I here? Oh, I need to make a message. There we go. Okay, message. 120 is now going to be our maximum value. And, and we have to make the metronome run at the right speed for it to do that. So we need it to make, it's just going to count from 0 to 120. We need it to go. Uh, 1,000 is, whoops, I didn't lock my patcher. There we go. So up to 1,000. Sometimes it's easier to just type these things in because the, and that's what I'll do. One, zero, zero, zero. Click outside it. Okay, so now our metronome is going to run at one beat per second and when it's done, let's reset that thing to zero on the next click so we know it's going to start the right way. We hit zero, we know it's going to count upward. And when this bangs, it's going to stop. So that's it. There we go. Whoops. Two, three, four, 
five. Did everyone remember to throw their egg in the boiling water? I hope so. Anyway, by the time this uh, gets up to 120, as it goes second byte. Oh, ha 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 ha. Egg's done. No, it's not done. I forgot to hit the 120. So now we're going to hit 120. We're going to hit reset and we're going to hit go again. You have to remember everything in, in with these computers, darn things. Okay, throw your eggs back in the water again. Throw the old egg in the trash. I know it's wasteful, but, you know, a college education, it's got to be worth it. Okay, so ne there it is, counting now, and it will continue to count until it gets up to 120, at which point this will send out a bang and shut the whole thing off, and your egg will be finished. And so is this tutorial for today. So enjoy your eggs, enjoy your patching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.